Appetite for Records here, and I have a package in the mail from Waxwork Records. Excited for this one, and particularly one of my favorite movies of all time, especially in the horror genre. Oops, bumped the microphone there. Anything else in here? There's something else in there. Yeah, there's something else in there. Before I show the records, uh, there's a couple extra things that fell out over here. One looks like a sticker for Creep Show 2. I didn't buy that record. I think that's out. Or Creep Show or Creep Show 2, I think, or something. And a postcard for nowhere wolf which i think is part of their new comic comic line i know they're doing comics now i put that right there now here's what we've been waiting for this thing is beautiful <laughs> this artwork is amazing and it is dawn of the dead Get out of the plastic because that, that's uh, reflective. Waxworks, not, I don't think they're usually known for these uh, uh, plastics, are they? You, you, usually it's sealed in cellophane. This is interesting. So now you can't actually have a 100% sealed record now from them. Hmm. It's kind of a good thing and a bad thing. I don't know. But this thing, look at this artwork. It's just simply amazing. Look at that. Here's the back. I don't know if this is a defect or if it's supposed to be like this. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. But on the front, you know, where it says when there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. But the D <laughs> has uh, is missing a little bit on the, uh, the top of the D there. It almost looks like it's almost, almost like a mess up. But it also may be part of the artwork, because there are blotches all around the outside of the artwork as well. So maybe not. Maybe it's part of it. Maybe it's, that, that is like part of the, the blotches. Uh, let's look at the inside here. Amazing, isn't it? Now, I actually own... The Italian release of the original uh, Dawn of the Dead, which is called Zombie over there. I don't have, I don't actually don't have the actual American U.S. release of uh, Dawn of the Dead. It has a whole different cover altogether. But I believe it's the same soundtrack if you get it from Italy or the U.S., the the uh, the U.S. release of this uh, back in the day is actually uh, more than the uh, import release. I think it's like fifty dollars or so, maybe for the uh, the American release. But I didn't pay fifty bucks for this one, and I imported it from Italy. I think pretty sure, because I got it off Discogs. Totally different kind of artwork, though. <laughs> so this contains uh, 
this right here, this contains all of this plus a bonus record with more with songs that, that weren't on the original soundtrack that didn't make the cut. Let's see if there's anything else extra in here besides the records. Yes, there is. I'll show out the records last. We have an insert as well. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite horror movies of all time. In my top five, I'd say my top two. I'd say my top two favorite horror movies of all time. This and Evil Dead 2, I'd say, are my two favorites. But there's some other ones that rank up there really, really close to it. Really, really close. There we go. That looks nice. Colored vinyl. I'm happy to have this, though, because I wanted the bonus tracks. There's actually one in particular that I that I knew from the movie that wasn't on the soundtrack, and I was a little sad that it wasn't there. On the original soundtrack, that is. I'm not going to pull out both records, but... There are a few more. There is at least uh, three more records from Waxwork that I want, but I really don't have the money for it. I want uh, the Day of the Dead, which they re-released. Uh, the soundtrack to House One and Two, which I like. I really like House Two. I grew up with that one as well, and uh, The Exorcist. I want all three of them, but I have money for none of them at the moment. And I really didn't have money for this one either, but I, this one was number one on my list to get, so I couldn't pass this up for the world. And uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I lost it. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Uh, this They said this sold out in 24 hours. So I don't think you can get this anymore at the moment, not unless they repress it. Because they're thinking about repressing some of their other ones, like they repressed uh, Day of the Dead. Uh, they're, they're in. I think they're thinking about doing uh, The Thing again. And uh, they've repressed uh, Trick or Treat before as well. I remember that was sold out and they brought that back. I think they, at one point, I didn't buy it, but I think they repressed their uh, creep show, and it resold out really quickly, <laughs> even after they repressed it. But uh, some of the records, uh, they never seem to sell out of. Either they have a different deal, where there's where they made more, or I don't know if they're going to continue just to have them forever, like The Howling, Salem's Lot, like The Exorcist. House 1 and 2, those just seem to like be there forever. While some of these sell out in 24 hours, and some of them they never bring back, and some of them they do. Let's look at these one more time here. Really happy to have these. And uh, thanks for watching.